Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is GamerTurk and today I have a first impressions video for you for the brand new Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I have only played the first couple of missions so this will truly be a first impressions video and as I complete my let's play of Assassin's Creed Syndicate I also plan on making a full blown review but for now I will be quickly talking about what comes to mind first when playing an Assassin's Creed game. Now, we have three protagonists, Jacob and Evie Fry, Jacob being the twin that likes to take things head on, while Evie plans and takes on a more stealthy approach. At first you might feel like that's not much of a difference, but as you progress and unlock skills, I'm pretty sure the difference will become more apparent, so I'll get back to that on my review. What struck me the most has been the combat. If you played Unity, you probably know what I mean. The pace of combat feels much better with quick close quarters moves. Since the very first Assassin's Creed game, combat was pretty much the same, with Unity having a much slower combat in my eyes. Jacob and Evie's fast paced moves feel really fresh and definitely welcomed. The other significant improvement I have to mention from Unity is the color palette. Assassin's Creed games, maybe with the exception of the first game, always had a very bright color palette that made the beautiful scenery stand out, even if the era was not all that cheerful. Unity's Paris felt like it was covered in smoke all the time and the colors were just plain boring. Thankfully, Syndicate has a much brighter color palette that makes London shine. Another improvement was definitely the return of the so-called Purgatory Simulator, basically the part where Animus lets you roam around without any goal in a white room during a loading screen. I can't mention how much I miss this feature in Assassin's Creed Unity with the awful loading times filled with only with a black screen. The last thing I want to mention is the biggest part of the game, the parkour. The basic parkour hasn't changed much from Unity. You free run by holding down the R2 button, free run up by holding down the R2 and X buttons and free run down with R2 and circle buttons on PlayStation. But the game does a much better job at explaining controls than Unity did. The most significant improvement to the overall parkour is the grapple hook. This new feature is definitely one of the most useful features in the game, allowing you to climb up incredibly fast and travel on the rooftops with haste and plan different ways to eliminate your enemies. As a side note before ending this first impressions video, as opposed to Unity, the game is actually quite stable and not broken. It does not have creepy glitches like Unity did and the only small glitch I encountered was that a texture on a building loading a little too late, but that can hardly be called a glitch. Small frame drops here and there on my PlayStation 4, but nothing to make a huge deal out of. For now, it seems like a worthy successor to the franchise, definitely an upward trend from Unity. Thank you so much for watching, go ahead and watch my playthrough of Syndicate if you want to see the game for yourself, and I'll see you guys on my full review of Assassin's Creed Syndicate once I'm done with the let's play. Until then, take care assassins.